hello again. Today I'm going to show you how to take an ordinary piece of scrapbook paper and make it into a pretty decorative edge background page for your next scrapbook layout. And to do that I'm going to be using Fiskars Shape Cutting Templates and the Ultra Shape Express. Okay, to start off I'm going to tell you a little bit about the Ultra Shape Express. First, it comes on this plastic base, and you use this to store the tool in. It protects the blade when you're, when you're not using it. So we're going to take that off. And then it also has this orange plate that you can use for freehand cutting. And today we're not going to use that, so we're going to also take that off. And what you do is you put it into the unlock position, and you just lift it off. And then go ahead and store it on your base. Okay, now. and now to insert the blade, what you do is you slide this lever into the unlock position and you lift the arm up to reveal the blade barrel right here. You drop the new blade into the barrel, like so. Place the arm back into the slot and then slide the lock over to the lock position. And to, just to let you know, the blade depth is already set to for a standard 65 pound cardstock. And to fine tune the depth of the blade, you can turn this dial here clockwise for thinner materials, and then counterclockwise for thicker materials. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to make your decorative edge scrapbook page. So what I'm using is the Stars One template and I'm going to put it on top of my 12 by 12 self-healing mat and I'm going to start off by putting the template about like a half inch from the edge of the page and centered on the page. Then to hold the um, tool you grasp the Ultra Shape Express with your thumb and forefinger on the Easy Grip pads with the blade arm closest to your hand. Do not hold do not hold the tool from the knob at the top when cutting because it will not work. So what you're going to do is just start at the left hand corner. You place the blade so it touches the shape cutting temp and apply even pressure and then Go kind of slowly, it's not a race, so don't go too fast. And then you're going to go around the three sides of the template. And I'm using my left hand to hold the template in place. And we're just going to Keep going around. Okay. And then when you reach the edge, what you're going to do is you're going to flip your template around and you're going to match the last cut you made so that you still have about a half inch of the scrapbook page over here. If you move it too far you're not going to get a complete page. So you'll know where to put the template. Okay, so you want to make sure you line it up at the top and the bottom. And then you can turn it around again so that it's... I like to cut from the right side. Make sure it's matched. And when you put the blade down, you'll be able to tell that it's matching. And then you continue your cut. And then you go all the way around again. Oh, 
until it meets at the spot where you left off. And then you're done. And then you can use the negative for a frame around another scrapbook page. I also wanted to let you know that I used this same template and I was able to cut out chipboard stars that I painted with some Distress Crackle paint. And I used a real thin chipboard and just to warn and just to warn you, I was able to cut, but it probably will dull your blade a little bit. Um, but as long as you're okay with that, you can also use it to cut this thin chipboard. And I wanted to show you, there's a bunch of different templates, and I wanted to show you the different looks that you can get with the different templates. This one, I use the frame template, and you can make some really pretty backgrounds with this. And then here, I use the birthday template. This is a celebration one template. And that makes a nice decorative edge. And you see how the corners are nice and even. And then I use the flowers template. And I think that would make the coolest background page for a Halloween layout. And then this is one of my favorites. This is the um, ovals template and it has a scallop edge. As you can see, the possibilities are endless and there are so many other templates that you can use. There's this one, the circles has a, a little scallop border and the um, bubbles template has a cool little edge to it and the diamonds template and there's so much more. So I hope that you'll give this a try and please send me a link and show me what you did. And remember, a crafty day keeps the stress away and we'll see you next time.